I'm still out and about being a tour guide in Paris this weekend. So I haven't had a lot of time to focus on Harry and Meghan Land and what's going on in their universe this weekend. But it doesn't look like there's a lot going on, actually. Um, I'm here in La, La Madeleine, which is one of Paris's most beautiful churches. And I'm scrolling my my phone to see what's going on and it looks like it's very very quiet they are not seemingly doing anything this weekend and um so i'm just, just ad-libbing and um yeah so there's a really nice concert in the madeline today but anyway i love churches as a general rule and these catholic churches in Paris are just absolutely amazing and today there was this classical music um, rehearsal before a real concert so anyway so what's going on so I was thinking to myself whether how funny would it be and this is a joke this is just for conversation if not even that but I was just thinking how funny would it be if Rupert Murdoch were to invite the Sussexes to his June wedding in California. He's apparently getting married. The 93-year-old uh, media magnet is getting married for the third time, no, for the fifth time this June. And he's tying the knot with Alina Zukova, who's the mother of, um, so what is her name? She, she, her daughter is also married to a billionaire. She was married to a Russian billionaire and she divorced and married a Greek billionaire, her daughter. But the mother is 67. She's a retired molecular biologist. And this guy, this hornbird, basically, Rupert Murdoch, he's 93 years old. He's getting married again. This is supposed to be one of the fam most famous bathrooms in Paris, the Madeleine. But I was quite frankly underwhelmed by it. I just checked it out because we went to the church and then I wanted to see it. So I took some snaps. It's okay. It's okay. But, you know, I wouldn't say that it's like, you know, amazing. But anyway, I digress. So Rupert Murdoch getting married for the fifth time to a molecular biologist. And she is his fifth bride, as I said. And it's this summer. And so I thought because there's so much sort of conflict between the Sussexes and Rupert Murdoch and all of his various press outlets, how funny would it be if Meghan and Harry were to turn up to his nuptials in California? Now, I know that the Sussex squad on hearing this will go absolutely berserk. So, okay, so we're having a little, um, just as a side note, we're having a little bit of um, a technical difficulty right now. But I know that the Sussex squad will go absolutely berserk when they hear me make such a light joke about Rupert Murdoch inviting the Sussexes to his nuptials in California this summer. But um, we're actually off at a little cafe having a little bite before a walk on the sand. We're going to go for a walk on the sand. Yeah, I'm still a tour guide this weekend, as I said. So we're having a little bite here at um, at a nice uh, cafe in a hotel in central Paris, just off Rue Rivoli. And then we're going for a walk on the sand. But I digress once again. So I was thinking, what... Um, this was our dessert, like this kind of chocolate cake. So... What would happen, what would the press say if it turns out that Rupert Murdoch invited the Sussexes to his June wedding to Alina Zukova, 67, who is a retired molecular biologist. She grew up in the Soviet Union, apparently, and they started dating just last summer. And they were introduced by his third wife, Wendy Deng, of all people. You remember Wendy Deng? She has two kids with Rupert. Um, so, yeah, so Rupert was married four times in the past um, to um, Patricia Booker, Anna Tov, Wendy Dang, and Jerry Hall. And now he's marrying Elena Zukova, 67. And we know that there's no love lost 
between Rupert Murdoch and the Sussexes. But, you know, life does make very strange bedfellows sometimes. You, you just can't tell with these people, you know. They're all rich. They all live in California. You know, Harry Meghan showing up at his wedding would be a media event. I mean, it would just be, people would be analyzing that for 25 years to come, you know. And, you know, that's how these people roll. One minute they're like model enemies and the next minute, you know, they're like working things out and, you know, hashing it out over golf or polo or, or just wedding invitations, you know. Um, but anyway, so Rupert's wife, Eleanor Zakover, this is going to be her third marriage. She was previously married to some guy named Alexander Zukova. Um, I'm looking at town and country right now. And another guy, George Goss. And she has three children, her daughter, Dasha. Oh, it's Dasha. Remember Dasha Zukova, who was married to Russian billionaire Roman Abramovich? And they broke up in 2017. I remember their wedding was so amazing. Like New York Magazine used to talk about them in their society pages all the time, right? Dasha um, Abramovich. Dasha Zukova and her husband, Roman Abramovich. Okay, they got divorced in 2017. And then Dasha married Greek billionaire Philip Stavros Niakos, okay? But her mother... Dash's mother is getting married to Rupert Murdoch, who's 93. It's absolutely crazy. Even crazier to me would be if Harry and Meghan were to show up to the wedding. That would just be hysterical. So Zakuva and Murdoch's nuptials, according to Town & Country magazine, will take place in June at Moroga, which is Murdoch's California vineyard and estate. Did you know that he had a vineyard at a state in California? I certainly didn't. Well, anyway, look, that it's a slow news day, okay? So I'm in Paris. I'm going to walk around a little bit with my friend over here and enjoy the scenery, the ambiance, the atmosphere, maybe go into a bakery, get some stuff. So that's it for this one. See you in the next one. Take care. Bye.